Good afternoon and welcome to English Lessons on Iman TV. I've been in the high visual Mohtaram Television Iman. امروز درس ششم مبتدی انگلیسی را خدمت شما تقدیم می کنیم به خاطر ماه مبارک رمضان و پروگرام های مخصوصی که در ایمان تیفی خدمت شما پخش شد ما پروگرام درس انگلیسی را به تحویق انداختیم خوشحال هستم که باز هم ما در خدمت شما قرار دارم و درس انگلیسی را خدمت شما دوباره تقدیم می کنم امیدوار هستم که ماه مبارک رمضان و ایام اید به خوشی و صحت بندی سپری کرده باشیم بین که درس امروز رو شروع بکنیم و درس امروز ما با تکرار درسایی که قبلا خوانده بودیم شروع میشه حرف بعدی که ما خدمت شما امروز تقدیم میکنم حرف H است و به ارتباط زی لغاتی که به حرف H شروع میشه خدمت شما تقدیم خواهد شد و درسای گذشته هم تکرار خواهد شد درس های مبتدی تکرار درس های گذاشته همیشه موجود است و خاطر از اینکه بازم با یاد شما بیا ما لغات و عروف و شکلش خدمت شما تقدیم خواهد کرد so the first letter we studied was a a as an apple این قصه ببینید که ای کلام به این شکل نشته میشه ای خرد به این رقم است و حرفی که به ای شروع میشه اپل است یعنی خود امی حرف ای تلفظش که در شروع کلمه می آید آ آسمانش اپل سو پلیز ریپیت اپل بی کپیتال بی و حرف کلان بی حرف خرد بی بی از این بگ اند دین سو دیس از ا بگ اند دین وی هاف ا سی از این کات بازم یادآوری می کنم که نام حرف سیس اما تلفظش ک ا کی یا مثل اما حرف کاف ما شما آورد ک کات دی از این داگ اند دین ای از این الیفنت یعنی که نام حرف ایس تلفظش ا الیفنت اف از این فلاگ G, in Hadith, how you write G, capital G, and then lowercase G. That's how you write it. G as in girl. We studied that before Ramadan. And then, this is, so this is a girl. You could see this uh, beautiful African girl. Um, this is another word, <clears throat> starting with H, and this is how you write H. One line. another line and then one in between and the little the small h is written like this capital h lowercase h درس امروز ما امی حرف h است که ای حرف به صلا capital یا شکل کلان نشته میشه و یه هم حرف h خرد است یعنی وقتی که یک کلمه در شروع جمله می آید باید تو به حرف کلان نشته شوه اگر در اخیر یا در ما بین یک کلمه می باید تو با حرف ایچ خرد نشته شد و حرف این لغت هت با حرف ایچ کلان نشته می شود یعنی ایچ مثل حرف هی در فارسی است منطقه بعض اوقات ما هی رو تلفظ نمی کنیم در انگلیسی وقتی که ایچ شما می بینین باید تلفظ کنیم می گین هت یعنی مثل هی یا حلوه واره هت So here is again. This is how you write H, and this is you write capital H, and then lowercase H, 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 and then again hat. This is a hat. Another word that starts with H is horse. So this is a horse. Again, you pronounce H sound, horse. This is a hammer. Remember, you pronounce it hammer. This is a hammer. And this is a house. H is pronounced house. This is a house. <clears throat> Hanger. 
This is a hanger. Hand. This is a hand. So there are other words that you want to review. Again, again, you see this picture. This is the picture of what? Girl, starting with G. This is the picture of what? Gate, starting with G again. <clears throat> so gate, uh, uh, I don't know whether the picture is clear or not, but it means darwaza. Um, so gate, I don't know if you are in the future, but I don't know if you are in the دروازه باقی است یعنی که دروازه درآمد خانه را او را دور میگیم اما گیت دروازه که در کنج خانه می باشه که دروازه باقی میگیم that's called gate this is the picture of what what do you call that in english that is starts with g and that is goat goat this is a goat and this one is what <clears throat> Guitar. This is a guitar. What about this one? This is a beautiful place, very green. What do you call it? It is called garden. This is a garden. This is a beautiful garden. And here is what? Garlic. Like garlic. And how about number seven? This is what? Also starts with G. And that is what? Glove. This is a glove. And number eight is what? This is a garage. Right. <clears throat> and this is what? You see bars and bars of what? Gold. These are bars of gold. Again, number 10 is what? Hat. And number 11 is what? Horse. Number 12, hammer. Number 13, house. 14, hanger. 15, hand. Now, let's practice a very simple and short conversation. Very kismat ma ba zilaya conversation e bisar kuta wa saadar khidmat shuba takhdim mi kurum. کمی لغاتی که با G و H شروع میشه و دیگه لغات رو که ما شما متعلق کردیم دی کانورسیشن شامل است The conversation is between George and Hannah ای معاوره و یا ای ملاقات در بین جورج و هنه است این میبینیم که جورج هم با G شروع میشه و هنه با H اما میبینیم که جورج اگر بعد از G ای بیایه ای را تلفظ یعنی G مثل جیم وارم میشه میگین جورج گورد نمیگین یا گورج نمیگین یعنی جی ای تلفظ جیم میده so this is what this is a plane this is a new word probably for some of you in English you call it what plane and this is what when you go to the airport where you find planes there is something called gate okay so gate مشما گفتیم دروازه باقی اما گیت در میدان هوایی اما در وضایی است که با شما را با تیاره رانمایی میکنه او را هم به نام گیت میگه این می لغت و این می تلفظ گیت so this is gate 22 please repeat gate now here is the conversation the conversation در بین حمید و هناس و حمید میگه که where are you going یعنی حمید از هنا پرسان میکنه که where are you going هنا میگه که I'm going to Herat when does your plane leave it leaves at 5pm what gate are you leaving from gate 22 do you have a book to read yes I do توجه بکنیم که ما جایی که عرف G و عرف H از او را ما نشانی کردیم تا شما ببینین که در بین جمله وقتی که عرف G و H شما نشته میکنین از شکل خرد عرف کار میگیریم یعنی اگر بگوینی که ببینین که میگن حمید نام شخص نام یک شخص است نام شخص همیشه با عرف کلان نشته میشه لیکن در این قسمت میگینیم Where are you going? So 
where h is Khurdas. I'm going to Hiram. In all the Hiram, if اسم خاص is اگر اسم خاص the binary جمله هم بیاید باید به حرف کلان نشته شده این به اصلاح قانون گرامری است ایراد اگر با خرد به حرف خرد اچ نشته کنیم غلط است باید هر وقتی که نام یک شخص نام یک محل و نام یک محسسه یا مملکت نشته می کنیم باید به حرف کلان باشه so where are you going I'm going to Hiram when does your plane leave این سوال می کنه که شما کجا می رید میگه من هرات می رم. When does your plane leave? In a tiny show, what time does it leave? It leaves at 5 p.m. So at 5 p.m. What gate are you leaving from? 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 So let me read this one more time. This time without translation. Listen very carefully. Where are you going? I'm going to Herat. When does your plane leave? It leaves at 5 p.m. What gate are you leaving from? Gate 22. Do you have a book to read? Yes, I do. Now. Let's see if you can answer this question. All I've been thinking, all of you, is a question. But what's the question? The job that I'm meeting in, yeah, good. The question first: Where is Hannah going? Is Hannah going to Jamaica? When does her plane leave? Tarish can be a problem. What gate is she leaving from? As Kudam gate, Tara can be a problem. What will she read? I don't know. Tara, she doesn't know how to read. Let me read the questions again, and then we look at the answers. Where is Hannah going? When does her plane leave? What gate is she leaving from? What will she read? The answers are here. So question number one, I want you to tell me. Lutfan shumwa jawab di sawala pish yazi ki ma khidmat shumwa taqlim mi konum, ba inglisi ba ma jawab bo gain. Where is Hannah going? What is the answer? Jawab di sawal chias. Where is Anna going? The correct answer is she is going to Herat. By Herat, mira. When does her plane leave? When does her plane leave? Yani tarish chand baje parvoz mikona? Baya ba khater darin ki chand baje parvoz mikona? How can you say that in English? The correct answer is her plane leaves at 5 p.m. What gate is she leaving from? Askudam darwaza parwaz mekana. Askudam gate. She's leaving from gate 22. What will she read? She will read a book. Now let me read the questions and the answers in English without translation. سوال و جواب اردوش به انگلیسی میگم توقع ما شما ایست که توجه بکنین گوش بگیرین که تلفظ درست دیر را به خاطر داشته باشه Where is Hannah going? She is going to Herat When does her plane leave? Her plane leaves at 5 p.m. What gate is she leaving from? She is leaving from gate 22 What will she read? She will read a book. Now, let me read one more time. Where is Hannah going? She is going to Herat. When does her plane leave? Her plane leaves at 5 p.m. What gate is she leaving from? She's leaving from gate 22. What will she read? She will read a book. Now, what I want you to do here is to circle the letters that are not the same. Ma'i rakam b'mishakel tamrin aham dar kudash. Shada shem adaf as tamrin nis ki shuma ami harf nava ki machet mat shuma taqdim kardin ira bishnasin. Shroe ami chart 
میبینیم که عرف H هست بعد از این در بین چار میبینیم که عرف H و دیگه اروفا هم هست و وقعی ما شما ایست که اگر کدام عرفی که شما فکر میکنین H نیست او رو دارش خط بکشین میبینیم که H this is what the same thing H this is what the same thing H but the next one is not H that's A you circle it the next one is not H you circle it then H H H H okay now let's do the the next okay so so we did the first row let's do the second one so the for second one the first one is what a not H this one is what e not H but then what H H H H and this is not H so you need to circle it that's what why <clears throat> Then again, look here, H, 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 but this is not H. What is that? That is E. So we circle that, it's different. And the last one is what? H, this one is what? H, this one is what? H, but this one is not, circle it. That's A. This one is what? Y. That's not H, so you circle it. H, 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 and H. So if you could do this, this means you recognize the letter H. And if you want to know how many letters of H are, it means that you can see the letter H in the same place. And this was H in the same place. H in the same place. This is H in the same That's how you write H in the same H, 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 H. What is that? That's not H. That's D. Circle it. That's what? Not H. That's B. Circle it. That's not H. That's N. Circle it. And then what? H, H. So now let's do this row, this row, and this row. <clears throat> so the first row, we did it. Now, let's do the second row. H, 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 H. What is this? This is N. H, H, H. This is B, not H. So we need to circle it. Look here. H, but what is this? This is B, not H. We circle it. What is this? This is not H. This is N. We circle it. But this one, H. This one, H. This one is not H. That's M. We circle it. H, H, and, and then H. Here, H, H. This is not H. This is what? B. What is this? H, 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 and H. Nothing else to circle. Now, let's review last week's words. در این قسمت تمام لغات را که ما تا حال مطالعه کردیم این را تکرار میکنیم که بازم بخاطر شما باشه و ببینیم که چه قضی لغات بخاطر شما هست okay. So now uh, So <coughs> Let me read these words first and then I will stop and ask you what the meaning of these words are Number one Apple Two Ant Three Axe, four, apron, five, bag, <coughs> excuse me, number six, bus, number seven, bird, number eight, B, number nine, book, and number 10, broom. Now the meaning, what is the meaning of apple? Apple means what in Farsi? Save. Ant, what does that ant means in Farsi? Morcha. What about axe? What is the meaning of axe? Axe means what? Tabar, right. Apron. What is the meaning of apron? Monai apron, she says. Pishpan monai. When I was working with Ashpaz Khan, I was working with Ashpaz Khan, but I was working with Ashpaz Bag, we call it bag, or 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 bag. Bus, the Farsi is bus, we call it bird, or bag, 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 or bag,
کتاب و بروم جاروس کت repeat after me together please cat carrot camel coat car donkey dog daisy duck dress now let's look at the meaning of these words so what does these words mean cat means what carrot Camel, Bobonai cheese, Bobonai, Yak now I want us. <coughs> Excuse me. Shotor. Coat. It's just push the measure. Kurtire megam. Ah, car, motor, donkey, a markup monometer, dog, Bobonai sagas, daisy, Yak now gulas, duck is a kind of bird. Monai duck cheese. Can you tell me? Morabi, right. Dress for Monai Le Boss. Now, please repeat after me together. Elephant, eagle, eye, ear, egg, flag, fire, frog, fish, feather. So elephant is what? Uh, feel. Eagle, for Monai Okab. I, Bamonai Chashem, Ear, Bamonai Gush, Egg, Bamonai Tuchum, Flag, Bamonai Bayrak, Fire, Altash, Frog, Baka, Fish, Mohi, or Feather, Bamonai Par. Now please repeat after me together. Um, gate. Garden, garlic, garage, garbage, girl, glove, goat, hat, hammer, hand, hanger, horse, and house. Now, let me ask you, what is the meaning of these words in Farsi? Okay, I don't have pictures to show you to uh, check, but you could tell me. What do these words mean in Farsi? What is the meaning of gate? What is it in Farsi? The answer is, that was a bari, is that. Also, when you go to the airport, that's also called gate there, that was a kalam. Garden is what in Farsi? Ball, right. Garlic is what? Garlic is seed. Garages, we use the same word in Farsi. Garbage, also we use the same word in Farsi, I believe, uh, uh, garbage. Girl, glove, discuss, boot, buzz, hat, hammer, hand, dust, Hang, hanger, Mamonai Kut Bandas, Horse, Egnal Ionas, Asp, House, Manzil Yahona. Let me read these words one more time. I want you to repeat after me together. Gate, Garden, Garlic, Garage, Garbage, Girl, Glove, Goat, Hat, hammer, hand, hanger, horse, and house. So these are all the words that we study. Now, what you need to do is to practice uh, what you have studied so far from letter A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So that means we have studied eight letters for each of these words. I give you 10 words that starts with these letters. So you have all together, you have 80 English words to remember. Uh, <coughs> uh, so 
مدال لغت شد بچه متقن کردیم که این جمع ازی اشتاد لغت انگلیسی میشه و مدوار است که شما لغت تکرار بکنیم و بر افتی آینده که من عرف آی خدم شما تقدیم میکنم آماده باشین یه اشتاد لغت بخاطر شما باشه و در این قسمت ما درس خدا به سوا با پایان میرسانیم بیننده های بسیار محترم تلویزیون ایمان درس امروز ما با امینجا با پایان رسید تا هفته آینده شما را به خدا آن مطالب نسپارم با یادوری بکنم که اگر شما کنم سوال یا پیشنهاد داشته باشین و اون نمراتی که بروی صفحه تلویزیون شما بر شما نشان دادم میتونین با ما مستقیما تماس بگیرین یا با تلویزیون ایمان با دفترش تماس بگیرین تا سوال شما جواب داده شود اگر میخواستین که تم تماس بگیرین مستقیما نمره تلفن ما به روی صفحه تلویزیون است شما دیدین رو را او 925 768 48 85 است تا هفته آینده شما را به خدا در دعا نسپارم تشکر